clear I'm a good team player, but I need to brush up on my communication skills. I'm really good at communicating in a group, but I'd like to improve on evaluating my ideas. I think I'm really good at evaluating and justifying my work. However, I think I could be more confident when expressing my ideas. The new diploma will teach these skills along with specific subject content. Recognising that employers for the 21st century workforce want students to come to the workplace with interpersonal and social skills as much as their subject knowledge is what's central to the new diploma qualification. For some students, their future working life could involve jobs that haven't been invented yet. Even so, there are core skills that they will need as they enter the world of work, such as flexibility, good communication and the ability to work as part of a team. The diploma gives you more opportunity to actually embed those in a deeper way and in more breadth as well, just by the nature of who we'll be working with and how we'll be working. PRTs are so important, they'll be there and threaded through everything that we, we will do in the diploma. PLTs, Personal Learning and Thinking Skills. Six skills to be taught as part of each diploma line. The aim is to help students become effective participators, reflective learners, self-managers, team workers, creative thinkers, independent inquirers. So how is one school, Hall Green in Birmingham, making a start with these? Personalised learning and thinking skills um, it is a development of where we are already as a school. Although we may not have used that phrasing, but they already underpin everything that we've done within teaching and learning, growing out of assessment for learning, for example. With the diplomas, it actually brings it more to the forefront. As a school working towards the creative and media diploma, staff are working together with students to start to develop their PLT skills. This year nine group are at the end of their fashion project. The aim's been to design a garment from recycled clothing. It's more than a bit of fun. For these students, looking back at what they've done is a chance to be reflective learners as they evaluate their skills and their work. Now what we're going to be doing is being the reflective thinker, thinking back over the work that we've just done. You could be talking about, right, well, either this garment or that garment here, in terms of the research that you did, the design that you did. What have you done well? And what do you think you need to improve on? You say how you found it harder to do because it wasn't your style, yeah. you were doing like a girly style. We could do like more research into the whole style and everything. Yeah. So like here you could have included more pictures and evaluated it more. It's really doing. hard because I don't know what kind of things a girly girl wants. So. You were doing it really for one specific person. Yeah. But because I did it for more of like a general category, yeah. then it was kind of easier for me. At the end of each project we do look back and see what we could have improved, what we liked about it and it always kind of helps me to know that if we do something like it in future, what I should be looking out for and how to make it the best. One of the things that I found hard was trying to, you know, have, have enough time to try and do what I wanted. Yeah. But I thought this was really good doing the designing. Yeah, time as well, because well, mine, I was supposed to do loads of surface decoration on it, and it didn't work. <laughs> I had to unstitch all of, like, this, because I kept sewing the front to the back, because it's really hard. The project involved planning um, your time and the materials you were using. We had to be prepared to use new skills, to learn new skills. Even though you talk about you weren't then unable to put your sequence on, why was that? Because it just took up too much time. And it looked all right like this as well. When I was doing this, it was absolutely fine because I just did it at home. And if I needed to add something, then I could do it then. So you were able to manage your sketchbook, the design work and the research. How was the making more challenging? Making was harder to... because I had problems with it. Do you feel as though 
you could have improved the research because you realised that you, had, you, you were going to be tackling new processes or maybe tested out the processes that you wanted to include. Yeah, in on my course. techniques, I didn't, do, I didn't use any of these, so I could have researched the ones that I would have used yeah. on these. I found that um, I was learning how to work more independently. I mean, so relying on other people to look for things, I tried to do it myself. But there are some things that are a bit difficult, but it is really fun trying to think of your own ideas. How did you decide on this design then? Um, well, because there was something to do with these sorts of shapes on my original design, so I just decided to change it. Just right, so you were adapting your idea. You took on board the same themes of flowers and rectangles, and you were able to adapt it and work within a given time. Don't you think that's a strength there, Jade? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> PLT skills seem to be working for creative and media, but can it be the same for all diploma lines? Over on the other side of Birmingham, a group of teachers from five different schools are planning the engineering diploma. First up, looking at the paperwork. Personal learning and thinking skills. Independent inquirers, creative thinkers, reflective learners, team workers, self-managers and effective participators. And it's not just a matter of tick, yes, they've done teamwork. We're supposed to be developing these skills. So it's a matter of, for instance, with teamwork. Yes, a child works well in a team, but basically does what they're told. You're going to try to encourage that child to take more of a, a team leadership role. Now, to do that, you're going to have to think carefully about how you put children together. It's not just tick, yes, they've done that. It's developing and improving these skills. Looking at the initial documentation, it does say that PLT skills will be assessed. Now, having looked at the assessment for each unit, it's not explicit in the assessment, and it would be very easy to ignore it. But the whole point of the diploma is that a big part of it is developing these personal learning and thinking skills and we have to remind ourselves about that continually throughout the course. So how can the teachers write the PLT skills into the lessons they've drafted? These teachers are looking through their lesson plans for each of the engineering units. There's lots of opportunities to incorporate personal learning and thinking skills across the course content but in order to make it meaningful for the students they need to ensure skills are built up on a lesson-by-lesson -lesson basis. Production of a research plan, history of domestic appliances, etc. OK, this is going to cover a lot of it. it We're actually going to have the independent inquirers. And also they've got to present this information so it's as well. Presentation. What so does that there's one only going about? to come on to creative thinkers. So we're going to break this down into individual yes. presentations. Oh, a a lot of this is going to be teamwork to anyway, isn't in, it? Yeah. The way we've set it up. So if so we increase the group the size to five there, groups of five, it'll yeah. we'll increase the challenge. And yes. I think they'll, they'll be rising to it by then. There. Well, we're into week five, week six yeah. there, so they really ought to be. Yeah, they should be joining as a group yeah. there. In every group, there are people with different skills, so can you try and use them? Personal learning and thinking skills have to be taught and assessed across all diploma units. This means they will run alongside the functional skills of English, maths, and ICT. And you can say there that we stop for a break. That could be when we got to a friend's house and we were waiting for a taxi to go out. Make the distance longer and uh, make the stay shorter. <laughs> you make this 60 kilometres yeah. and then make this 10. But the challenge for the teachers is to ensure that these functional and the personal learning and thinking skills, the PLTs, are taught in the work-related environments too, not just in the classroom. For our creative and media students, it's time to visit one such environment. Paul Green School have teamed up with their local HE College, which is about to launch its fantastic new facilities, a working graphic studio and a fashion lab. This is a new building, new facility, and in just a few moments' time, you're also going to get a chance to have a quick look at the, the fashion lab. Um, some real cutting edge fashion that's, that's linked to industry. Uh, and I know that some of you have got a real interest in that as well. 
our students have been invited to be the first to try them at and help with the launch evening. Does it look much like a classroom? No, no. Okay, no. but it is. This is a learning space. The models making sort of... It's a chance to find out what they might be doing next year. Now the timeline, ladies and gentlemen, is where we control what happens for our animation. Now down to work. Just an hour to produce a 30 second animation and give the equipment a workout. Ah, right, so where are you going from? Go from under here. Yeah, that's in the right place. It's an opportunity to draw on their skills of being a self-manager, a creative thinker. Yours just goes really fast and yeah. mine's like dead slow. A team worker. And an independent inquirer. So what if you want to speed it up or slow it down? That's a very good question. What would you think you'd have to do? Make it longer? Shorter. Shorter. Remove the keyframes in, not that. Ah. That's right. Spot on. So that'll go fast now. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I love that spinning. <laughs> down to launch event, a chance for the college to show off its creative talent. Tonight we've got to hand out these magazines with our names on and also give them these. <laughs> well excited really to meet new people. Our students are front of house, greeting the VIPs. I have no idea who I'm going to meet tonight, all we know is that they're important. VIPs. <laughs> <laughs> They're having to raise their game, a chance to draw on some of their skills for real. So far, so good. They're really having to be team players, as well as effective participators. All look this way, nice smile. It's also very enjoyable. Can I ask you to go to the studios? Behind the scenes, where they really want to be, the excitement and the anticipation of the fashion show builds. Next year will be their turn, their work showcased on this very stage. It's been really exciting, it's just it's amazing what we've seen and everything, it's just great. Oh, it's just been so cool. We've got to see all the models firsthand. Oh, it's just been amazing. <laughs> The diploma is so different from the GCSEs. It's much more of a whole experience that all links together. It's vast in what it can offer in terms of not just subject knowledge, but real life knowledge as well. And all those life skills of working with different people.